Fine Classic Shaving Soap, American Blend, and we're going to shave with it, coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and Wetshavers everywhere. It's MarkWithGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. If this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos. We talk about all things traditional white shave here, so I hope you find the videos entertaining, informative, instructive. Anyhow, also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. We're going to have a shave with Wow, this is great, great shaving soap. I've already had a couple shaves with it. Really, really terrific stuff. Fine, classic shaving soap, American blend. However, this is their older soap base. This is no longer available. A viewer alerted me to the um, sale of this. This was in their clearance section on their website, and I went up and I was able to grab some of this American blend because it is now made in a new soap base, what they call their 21st century soap base. Now, this has been referred to as the American Tabak. It has a beautiful, beautiful classic barbershop scent and uh, makes a fine lather. So we're going to go ahead and shave with this. Now, this is three and a half ounces. And uh, when you look at the size of the container, I got some hot water on top of it right now. Not very large container at all. You can almost throw this into your dop kit and travel with it, which is why we're going to be using the uh, Phoenix Shaving Green Ray uh, Shaving Brush. This is a, a nice size shaving brush. Not overly large, not uh, overly small either, but it's something that you could throw into your dop kit. And I'm thinking uh, this Green Ray brush with uh, the uh, American Blend Shave Soap in a three and a half ounce container, you could probably put that into your uh, dop kit and, you know, use it as a carry-on, I would think. I'm hoping. It's not overly large. I think that would probably get you just under the wire TSA regulations, but certainly if you're driving away for the weekend, your own car, you could take that along, no problem. So we're gonna just use that. I'm gonna be using my Godfather Stonehenge razor. Boy, I love this razor. It's wonderfully mild yet efficient. Got a great handle to it, very nice, great heft and weight. Just terrific. We're going to go ahead and open that up right now. And the blade I'm going to use is going to be the second use of uh, this Derby USTA blade that I reviewed in a previous video. I used in a previous video. We're going to use this blade here. Very, very good razor blade. So we're just going to put that in there like that and put that base plate on there. End tabs of the blade are enclosed in the razor head, which is really terrific. And... Oh man, the blade alignment and balance spot on on this razor. Just absolutely terrific. Really, really love this razor. That's absolutely great. So we're going to go ahead and uh, use that. Uh, what else we got going on? I've got my brush go from Phoenix Shaving to keep the brush nice and warm. So the brush has been soaking. I had some hot water on top of the puck. Going to finish it off with uh, Phoenix Shaving Alum Block, no slip grip, dry dock system. And uh, to wrap things up, we're also going to use the Fine Platinum Aftershave Balm. So we'll use that for uh, upstairs and also on the face. So that's what we're going to wrap it up with. So hey, without further ado, let's just get this. No pre-shave. We're just going to use this shave soap. Let's take this. Let's dump that in the sink. Let's wet the face and let's get to the shave. That is a really, really nice scent. I could just, just, I, I can just, you know, the, the scent just fills the shaving den right here. We're going to go ahead and load this brush. I wringed it out a little bit there. So, with, this is their classic, well, I say classic, their original soap base. And it does make a nice lather. And I believe this is tallow base, so I am going to go ahead and just keep loading this brush until it starts to build a nice cream around the edges of the container. That's kind of my rule of thumb, how I gauge uh, 
whether or not I have enough of a brush load. And again, these both of these I think would be a good size to travel with. Now, I don't know if they make the same size container in their new soap base. I hope they do. Yeah, this is all, I'm almost there. Yeah, I think I'm there, yeah. You can see you get these little peaks like that. Okay, I'm good to go. All right. Wow, that's, that's a nice brush though. Okay, here we go. Wow, that just lathers a treat. And it's got a classic barbershop scent. Again, it's known as the American Tabak. I, you know, for a variety of reasons. I covered that in a Monday morning mailbag. Some viewers sent in some information regarding that. But uh, it has a wonderful scent. It is, a, it's very, the, the scent is a little sweeter than uh than the than a box scent but it's kind of has that same kind of vibe only it's a little sweeter and it 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 really does have a classic barbershop quality scent quality to it it's great and and really <laughs> boom lather that is wow boy what a great shaving soap that is fantastic. Look at that. My good. I mean, I love this process. I love doing a face lather. I have just grown so fond of doing face lathering. And this brush scuttle from Phoenix Shaving has really enhanced it because I got hot water there and that just stays nice and hot right in there. Just, ah, oh, nice and warm. Not overly hot, but nice and warm. So I get a nice warm lather for, you know, build a nice warm lather for the second pass. So here's my razor all loaded up with the blade. We're going to put it under some hot, hot, hot water and heat that up. And okay, that's good. A little swirl to bring it to the proper temperature. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Oh, that's nice and smooth. Oh, that's terrific. That really is terrific. Very nice. Just a real mild, efficient laser. Just the way I like my razors, really. I got a little blemish or something going on over here. Saw that the other day. So we'll see. Be real careful. Okay. Okay. No harm, no foul. No tugging, no pulling, just really nice and smooth. Nice second use from this USTA uh, Derby blade. Really nice. Nice and maneuverable up underneath the nostrils. Uh, I like the ribbing on the handle here because that kind of allows me to choke up when I want to get into those areas. And then, of course, I can kind of slide my hand down and grab it on the bulbous end here and just really kind of, you know, <laughs> really take advantage of the length of the handle. All right, first pass done. Let's rinse. Okay, one day's growth, and this is a socially acceptable shave. That's really terrific. Uh, we're going to go ahead with pass number two. Boy, this is terrific shaving soap. It lathers a treat. It's nice and warm from the brush scuttle. And I got more than enough in the brush to bring back a nice lather for a second pass.
Boy, that's wonderful. I love the scent of this shaving soap. It really is terrific. You know, I'm glad that I've got the original formula because I'm going to compare it to the 21st century soap base that they have. I'm going to get some of that down the road and see how it compares. Boy, I love the process. Uh, just love the process of lathering. Back into the brush scuttle. Okay, here we go. We're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Boy, that's nice. That is just, that's terrific. And again, you know, I'm just grabbing it on the end there just to kind of get back there by the ear and just, oh, that's wonderful. What a great feeling. And you know what? I didn't even notice. I went right over that guy and no problem at all. You know, every once in a while when I'm shaving, I like to check that. Make sure, just check the, the security, the the tightness, uh, make sure everything's snugged up on this uh, razor head on the handle, and it's fine. It hasn't moved at all. That's wonderful. Nice and smooth. Very maneuverable underneath the nostrils on that east to west uh, pass. Uh, nice and comfortable. Uh, no tugging or pulling. Just a nice sharp uh, shave of the whisker. All right, second pass done. Let's rinse. Well, you know what? I'm done. This is a good shave. I'm going to do one more pass because uh, third pass will really clean things up. It is a milder razor. So uh, usually with razors that are in this mild uh, range, I, I like to do three passes. I can get away with two passes with this shave, but let's do a third pass, show you how much lather is left in the brush here. And I got plenty there for a third pass. Oh yeah, that's nice. Good slickness. Uh, nice glide, uh, terrific, terrific scent. Feels, feels great on the skin. There's nothing disagreeable there at all. Some wet shavers, when they try a new shaving soap, sometimes they'll get a little bit of irritation, a little bit of burning sensation, that kind of thing. It's very, very slight. I know, I understand that. Uh, happens once in a blue moon with uh, with some shave soaps, um, but this one is very, very agreeable. We're going to go with pass number three. We're going to go south to north against the grain, and I love this movement, and I love how this razor sits in my hand. Again, just right over whatever that is, no problem at all. That's terrific. That really is nice. Okay, I'm just going to make sure I get the chin here. Oh. 
handle is great. Does not slip up out of my hand at all. A nice secure grip. And that got the chin area very nicely. Third pass done. Let's rinse. That's a nice shave. <laughs> That's a really, really nice shave. Wow. Going to go with my two final rinses. One warm, one cold. Boy, this has just been a great, refreshing shave. The scent is, it's a barbershop classic scent. It's refreshing. I, again, it's a little smoother than Tabak. It's a marvelous, marvelous scent. All right, here's my warm water rinse. Ah, that's terrific. That's really nice. Going to flip it to the cold water side. All right, just waiting for it to get cold. Okay, cold water rinse. Ah, that's wonderful. Marvelous, marvelous. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. That's great. That is marvelous. That's a <laughs> that's a nice shave. One day's worth of growth. Really did a terrific job. Three uh, three passes with the uh, Godfather Stonehenge and the Derby USTA blade. Really a nice blade, but uh, the soap provided a lot of protection, a lot of glide, some nice slickness. Let's see uh, what kind of feedback we get. Okay. See if there's any zinging or stinging. See how close we got. All right, here we go. Well, I got a few zings here and there, but no stinging. Nothing that's hitting me over the head like bam. Just and you know. That is not even registering at all. And so I think the soap provided a lot of slickness to where it didn't aggravate that, whatever that is, whatever kind of blemish that is. Oh, that's, that's marvelous. There is some bracing there from the astringent qualities of the, uh, the block, and I expect those. Uh, but really, no stinging at all. A couple little zings here and there. Dry dock system, put that in there. We're all set. Let's take a look at this brush. Now, oh yeah, I've got some left there. Got enough for a for a touch up. But look at that peak. Look at that. That's marvelous. That really is. That's fantastic. I probably could have loaded the brush a little longer, perhaps. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think I probably could have loaded a little longer. Maybe get a little more lather uh, towards the end of my shave. There is enough there, but uh, perhaps. Maybe a little more of a brush load. Um, I think this brush did a really nice job. Again, um, I think that um, the uh, uh, the soap uh, provided a nice lather, good slickness, nice glide, and this brush did a nice job. Now I believe this is a 24 millimeter knot, so yeah, you know maybe a 26 millimeter knot would allow for a little more lather uh, when you're loading the brush. You know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. I think it was just great. And of course, I'm moving the video along. So if the camera wasn't on, I'd probably be taking a little more time to uh, to load the brush and that sort of thing. But you get the general idea and look at that. Look, <laughs> just talking like this. This thing is clean. Gosh, I love these synthetic brushes. They're absolutely fabulous. Okay, let's finish it off with the... Uh, Fly, fine, <laughs> fine, fine, uh, platinum aftershave balm right here. Yeah, this is a, a balm. It is not a splash. Uh, I ordered this uh, when I ordered the soap, and I think next time around I'm going to get a splash. So we got about a little bit like that. It's a little more liquid than some. So here we go. A nice scent that complements the shave soap. A little different. Again, I would say it's in the ball in the ballpark of being a a barbershop scent, but boy, that's 
That's nice. That's got, wow, that's got like a little, I think that might have a little menthol in there. Uh, soothes and relieves, moisturizes and protects. I think it does have a little menthol in there. Let's take a look here. Uh, apply as desired to face and neck. Uh, avoid eyes and inside of nose. Okay, uh, but that's about all that's on there. I'll have to get you some more information off of their website as to what the ingredients are, but I think there is a little bit of menthol there, which is which is terrific. I'm going to get a little bit here, right like that, just for upstairs. Going to be doing a head shave, I think, later tonight, so just a little bit. Yeah, that, boy, that's got a really nice post-shave kick. I like that. That is equivalent to a splash. That, that really is. Uh, aftershave balm platinum. Wow. If I was traveling, I would just take this and not have to worry about uh, an aftershave splash. This feels like it does double duty. Really, really. Oh, yeah. I like this a lot. This is nice. And again, it's got a nice barbershop scent. And it complements the, uh, the shaving soap uh, very, very well. Both of these together, the Platinum Aftershave Balm and the Fine American Blend Classic Shaving Soap. Really both terrific, terrific. Great. Let's do that again. No, I was off a little bit there. Let's do it again. Great, great shave. Really, really wonderful. Uh, yeah, worth a double, uh, double clap, three claps. Really, really terrific. Enjoyed that shave a great deal. The... Uh, American Blend Classic uh, Shaving Soap. This is the original soap base, and it did a wonderful job. Really interested in trying their 21st century soap base. Promises to be uh, even better, uh, and I hope the scent is the same because it's an absolutely wonderful classic barbershop scent. Again, it's a I, I, I said it before, I'll say it again. It's a little sweeter than Tabak. It's kind of like Tabak with a little bit of sweetness added. That's how it impresses me. But it's definitely a classic barbershop scent. Really, really enjoy this scent. And boy, this uh, this platinum is still giving me a real nice post-shave kick. Like this a lot too. So they're both very, very good products. And again, uh, enough lather in the brush for three passes and maybe even a touch-up. It gave me a really, really nice shave. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation, especially this guy here. Did not aggravate that little blemish there at all. The Godfather Stonehenge did a wonderful job with the Derby USTA blade. Second use on that blade. Wow, this was just all around a wonderful, wonderful shave. The wet shave is so great. If you're not doing a traditional wet shave, what are you waiting for? You will find a soap, a razor, uh, an aftershave balm, a blade a brush that fits your budget, your skin and beard type. It's just the best way to shave and uh, really get your day off to a, a great start in the morning doing the traditional wet shave. And as they say, if uh, your morning shave isn't the best part of the day, you're doing it wrong. Well, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so we give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out the executive shaving company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetoon.com slash blog for my comic strip, George. Other cartoons, other videos like this. I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out vikingsblade.com for some great shaving gear. Like the Vikings Blade Godfather Stonehenge Razor. Boy, I love this a lot. Stainless steel cap, stainless steel handle. Beautiful base plate that is beautifully, beautifully chromed. Uh, just terrific, terrific uh, razor. Like it a lot. Uh, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Ready, where you'll find all the products I review on this channel. Organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon. Thank you.